Hello everybody and welcome back to the Persia Common Sense Achievement Run. This is part 7. Now, for those of you guys who want a quick recap of the last episode, we were able to go to War with Uzbek, who actually declared on us when we were at War with the Ottomans. And out of the PCO, we got a pretty sizable vassal, which is Kazakh, or Kazakhstan. Uh, this episode, while we wait to, you know, increase our manpower, uh, kind of build up an army to rival the Ottomans, we will be subjugating uh, Oman, and I hope Delhi to take out all of these cores over here for Punjab, uh, build up our vassal over there, and then subjugate Oman uh, to make Oman our new vassal as well. This will change a little bit of the power dynamics uh, within our current vassal subjects, uh, especially considering Armenia now wants to uh, declare independence, more or less, because I released them as Marsh. But that's what happens, so let's go ahead and continue where we left off. Uh, of course, for diplomatic map mode, uh, once again, this is what we have. We are going to be growing uh, Punjab with acquisitions from Delhi, and I hope to at least make Oman a vassal. If we have to take out some territory, that's fine as well. Not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not sure. I think this would be a little bit better. Yarkand is not very scary. I believe they only control like two or three provinces. And they're already in a war. So let's go ahead and declare on Delhi. Like I said, this should not be hard at all. Looks like Gujarat won't even come to help. Uh, which means that this war is going to be incredibly easy. Um, which is honestly a shame. Because we do have... One of these provinces we could have, could have nabbed from them, but we will in the future. Of course, ensuring that we have a buffer zone between the Europeans when they arrive will be most fortuitous. Or more, more like advantageous, I should say. So, we're going to go ahead and reconquest on Duaba. And let's get in. So, the war has started. It's time for us to move our men in. Of course, first, we are going to have to go from the north, because we don't have border agreements with any of these guys here, but I can request one from Multan, which is what I will here in a second, as soon as we get to that. If they let me go through them, it'll be a little bit easier for us. So now we can go through Multan, and we will be reassigning our leaders. While we wait, now that we have access, we can go claim on some more of these provinces. I will, of course, want to eventually connect Arabia around Oman. So we're going to go ahead and lay claim to Ak our Akaf, even though it's a one base tax province. It's pretty useless, but it is what it is. Now we should also go ahead and increase our army maintenance. I'm surprised I didn't really do that before. And we're going to also raise our war taxes. So we can make enough money to actually make more of an army, considering we are on uh, par with the Ottomans, technologically speaking, which is great. So yeah, now we are just going to wait and ensure that our armies are healed up before we get involved. Hmm. The more I can siege down here, the better, of course. But we are not too far behind. And we've already conquered one of the provinces. Hmm. I think that should be okay. Now we are going to march. I'm well aware that marching into mountains is not a good idea. But we do what we do, not because we want to, but because we are going to win against this dreadful, dreadful AI. Of course, we're going to need a help, and we're going to call our men up there. But we won before they could get on us, which is perfect. And like I said, we need to get rid of the military before we do more action over here. And we're also going to call on our backup army. 
to get involved. While meanwhile merging an army that I am currently requ requisitioning. So they decided to attack over a mountain. Really wasn't a good idea. I think we should be able to win this. Yeah, most definitely. Easy, easy win. Now we are just going to lay claim to as much of their territory as we can. Very, very good. We are absolutely dominating at the moment. But we, of course, need to attack Kanesh for them to take us seriously here. And we will. It's not a big deal. So we have control of the Punjab. Now it's time to move on, I believe, their capital. Or at least getting closer to the capital, which is, of course, Delhi. We've occupied Kashmir as well. And this one as well. We are still not done though. Meanwhile, down here to the south, we have just beaten back a troop of Kandesh. Well, I'm not sure where they're going, but they're going west, which leads me to believe that they're going to try to like, siege some shit over here. I don't know. We could probably afford to ignore them for the moment. Considering I'll just go siege their capital. Which will inevitably starve them out. So we have another claim on Oman, which is good. Time now to ensure that we form a little bit more claims. Not on Oman. We don't really need Oman. But maybe on Georgia, which has recently just become a independent state. Cool, cool, cool. We could already declare war on them too. I'm very tempted to right now. As soon as I set up a secondary military over here, we will. They of course just need more infantry, cavalry, and cannon. Which all in all should not take too long. We will fabricate both claims on it to annex all of that juicy land because if we don't, either the Ottomans or an Ottoman ally will. That just goes without saying. Right. So I said I was going to go back, but I changed my mind. We're just going to take Kandesh. It's a lot faster. We've lost a claim on an Ottoman province, but it's all right. We can always reclaim. So we're doing very well over here in the east, having taken most of the territories that comprise Delhi. doing pretty well right now in the conflict, all things considered. So now we will ensure that we have all of our claims up on the Ottomans. You never do know when you're going to get into war, so it's best to always be prepared. Right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Looks like I acted too soon in sending this troop over here. He's outnumbered. But we have a new guy coming in to assist. Hopefully he gets there fast enough. Looks like we're still going to win somehow. I'm not really quite sure how, but... It's looking like that is going to be a possibility here. We will reinforce on the 12th of July. And that is incredibly one-sided. Do 
doing very, very well here. Of course, now that more of an army is assembled up here, we could probably afford to be in two wars at the same time, considering the lack of importance of Georgia and their alliances. Right, so let's go ahead and take another look at what we're doing here. Very, very good work. Should pretty soon have the entire country at our knees. And as soon as our claim is done with the Ottomans, we will be attacking Georgia. This is the phase of the game, the mid game, where I'm going to be expanding very rapidly. Because, like I said, whatever I don't take, the Ottomans will. So it's absolutely imperative that we get our hands on more troops. Definitely use some more cannon, but that is what it is. So, let's go ahead and take a look again at the Indian Theater. Where we are absolutely dominating. As soon as the forts are down, we'll be able to attack their capital. And completely subjugate them. Of course, now people are starting to <laughs> declare war on Delhi, for whatever reason. And let's see if we can't get a claim on Astrakhan as well. Looks like we can. Very, very cool. Although I'm not really sure if I want them, considering how far north they are. So we'll probably just end up humiliating them. And getting money out of them. So let's go ahead and declare war. We are ready. Yet another conflict. Should be very, very, very easy here. So we'll take Dagestan. Ensure that our... Exhaustion is not too high. It's fine. War is coming to Dagestan. So be prepared. And let's go ahead and see what else we can lay claim to. Pretty much everything in Hajaz. Because remember, we're thinking to the future. And when we declare war on Oman to vassalize them after all these conflicts, we will be dragged into war with Hajaz, more than likely. So, like I said, planning for the future is good. Lay a claim on anything we may or may not take later on. That's exactly what we are doing. And as soon as this fort over here has been taken, we can move in on the capital. So we're going to speed up a little bit. And we have destroyed Dagestan, as expected. We will fully annex them. Lost another claim on the Ottoman provinces, but just like last time, we will ensure that all of those claims are up. And now we are attacking Delhi with a very, very strong army. And it's pretty much finishing up the business we have here. Uh, Yarkan decided to declare war on us, but I haven't even been doing this. My minions have basically been going to war with them and doing a very damn good job here. Don't even have to worry about that. So now that this guy's done, you can go back and relax. Maybe do that. We are doing very, very well. And I do believe there are still too many people on this. No, there's not, surprisingly. So we'll fabricate yet another claim on the Ottomans. They're building up a power base, and so are we. And I'm going to need a way to get to the Astrakhanis. See, if European Rosales was like any rational game, you'd be able to cross the uh, Caspian Sea with boats, boat transports. But, alas, European Rosales is not. So, this tends to create problems, unfortunately. Like right now. Battle of Kandesh, we were beaten back. That's fine. We will be sending back reinforcements to take it. I didn't really even realize where they got that specific troop from, but they did. But now I bet they're going to regret it as we stomp them. 
And this unit is not a full unit. I do believe it belongs to this particular one. It does. We will regroup them. And the war shouldn't last too much longer. Instead of going for military ideas, we need to first focus on tech. The Ottomans are at 13. We need to be matching them. Good thing we just occupied that specific province, and we will be ready for the next conflict. Now what I'm going to do is take a look at what's going on over here. We need to, of course, get through Gazik to get Astrakhan in this war. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I do believe we're losing... Okay, we're not losing any diplomatic relations. That's fine. Are they allied with the Ottomans? They are. Could we possibly Diplo? We could. Hmm. They're so small that I really don't want to. So at the moment, we're just going to ask for access. Access granted. Perfect. So now we are going to march on Astrakhan. And we are going to renew that. Yes. Siege of Dajstan is over. Good. More people towards Dagestan. Great. And we're going to fabricate more claims on our neighbors. Because we are incredibly friendly. And it looks to be like our war with Delhi and our war with Kandesh is going pretty well. We, of course, are going to diplo-vassalize pretty much anything we see for science. Starting to get a peace offer from Delhi. We're probably not going to accept that, though. So instead, we will lay claim to Hassa. Where we can grab even more land. Of course, if we don't take it, the Ottomans will. So, now that the war is almost over, I do believe Yarkand is almost 100% vassalized. Kandesh has been taken as well. We will be integrating Punjab very, very soon, as soon as we get the claims out of Multan, which is good. Right, so that war is basically over. Hmm. We just need one of the uh, provinces that belongs to Yarkhan to be captured, and then we'll be fine. Of course, Ostrakhan's not even really taking damage over here, surprisingly. Let's just go ahead and diplomatically take over some of these territories, especially those, pers those pesky ones that border the Persians but aren't quite Persian. Azerbaijan, I'm looking at you. And these other really cheap Persian provinces, or I should say non-Persian provinces, that have always really just wanted to join Persia, ethnically speaking. So, we're not even going to bother with Kandesh, so let's go ahead and get as much as we can from them. We are going to force religion upon you, and you're going to pay re reparations, and you're going to give us some money. Well, really as much as you can. So... And you have some... Yeah, okay, perfect. So this is going to cost pretty much nothing. It's going to give us prestige. And we're good with that. Cool. Now we need to focus on Yarkand as soon as that option is available. Of course, that might take a moment. And that's fine. So, that being said, let's see how we're doing up here. We're not really doing anything up here yet, so... We're going to need some more units to throw at the siege. And we're going to also need to fabricate, I believe, more claims on the Ottomans. Always. Whose own war seems to be at a stalemate of sorts. We have gained Cassus Belli on Hassa. And come on, Yarkand. This shouldn't be too difficult, should it? 
yet more Ottoman provinces that are impossible for us to confess. This winter attrition is absolutely kicking our ass up here. Unsurprisingly, I guess. Really. Trying to keep our vassals as happy as possible. And last but not least, of course, our allies as well. We'll see if that was enough to get this siege ticking. Looks like it is. And Astrakhan is one hell of a shitty province. We are just losing so much manpower from the attrition here. But we'll throw more men at it. That's always how these things tend to work. So, we still have yet to, <laughs> to take down Yarkand, so we're still waiting on that. But you know what? I don't really think we're going to do anything with them anyways. We could probably just fully annex them, but that'll make our borders ugly as fuck. So, let's go with... You're going to pay us war reparations. You're going to become Sunni. Okay, fine. You're going to become Sunni. Really? Okay, well... You need to become Sunni, so we're going to wait on that. Perfect. Now you'll become Sunni. I'm sure of it. Convert to Sunni. Cool. And you're going to pay us some money. Very nice. I didn't want anything from there in many ways. They're shitty. But check it out. Shia is starting to spread a little bit, which is good. We'll need that for later, of course. And last, and of course least, is Delhi itself. And Astrakhan is just giving us a hard time over here. Needlessly, I should say. So, we're going to return some cores. Punjab, Punjab. You're going to, of course, give me Kashmir, which I'm going to give to Punjab. And I'm going to take... Hmm. This for myself as well. This, this, this. Cool. You know what? Not that. They can keep that shitty province. We're going to take these. Plus, they're going to pay us war reparations and give us some money. We really need money more than anything else at this point. So that was a good trade. Now, we need to feed most of this back to Punjab, because I can't really core any of it. Well, I guess I could. But then there's the question of whether I want to, which is no, I don't want to. But up here in Kashmir, it's pretty cheap. We might go with that. Nah, it's not worth it, actually. So we're going to give it back to Punjab. And... I'm really tempted to just declare war on Multan. This Punjab is going to look really weird if I don't. But at the moment, we have more pressing matters to attend to. Like getting rid of all of this territory that I can't core. So, we're going to sell you some back economy. We're going to sell... How do we do this? Sell province. We are at war. Punjab is at war. Okay, we can't be at war to sell provinces. Wish I knew that before. And honestly, if we can't get into Astrakhan, it's not the end of the world. In fact, I would rather just stop fighting there anyways. So let's see what we can do. They have a medium war exhaustion. But yet they won't take a white piece. That's just a pain in the ass. So we're going to see if we can't force our hand here a little bit. Can we pay off our loan? We can. Fantastic. And we're going to get rid of our military access there. Good. Now we shouldn't be overextended with diplomatic relations. We aren't. But the only problem is, is once again, the winter of Ostrakhan is kicking our ass here. And I don't really know what to do, honestly. So we're just going to... Siege it until we can white piece them. Or we get something better out of the deal, I'm not sure. 
fact of the matter is though is that we need to continue to expand I hope by 1590 that we will have a presence in the Arabian Peninsula which I, I believe we won't really have much of a problem doing so that being said we've got two more volunteers but our war exhaustion is starting to look pretty bad I think gauging by provincial unrest that we see here or maybe that's all from <laughs> my uncored provinces I think that's probably more likely so this is kind of a pain in the ass I, I really just want to end this war with Astrakhan as soon as they all let me kinda cool if I could just like siege their little base there we're not going to pay any war taxes instead we're going to disband our mercenaries as soon as we can and also get a fucking white piece with Ostrakhan who's being a bunch of babies not possible yet so we're gonna wait why would that be possible of course so in the meantime let's go ahead and let's lay, lay some claims in guy. no let's lay some claims in somebody that we know we're going to be at war with maybe over here in Malwa for instance more than likely we will be at war with them right so I believe at the end of December I should be able to peace Astrakhan see the funny thing is is that originally I wanted to get something out of this but it's just not even worth it at this point so Qatar where are you Qatar you are over here we are going to park that guy over there. So we need peace. Master Khan is now willing to accept peace, I believe. No, maybe not yet. They will soon, more than likely. Oh, no, no, we shouldn't do that. Let's do something that's in Afghanistan, like Ghazni. Very good. So now, will you accept anything, Astrakhan? Well, you know what? We'll just fuck them up. Why do we even care what they think? We don't. So we're going to fabricate more claims on them. They have all of Punjab, except for Multan, which we will claim for ourselves. I believe we already have claimed for ourselves. 1589, very nice. Let's go ahead and increase our relationship with Punjab. Who we will be diplomatically annexing soon enough. Of course, all these province or these uh, non-cord territories are going to really weigh in on us, but we're not going to let it. Lost a claim. That's fine. Pretty much know where that claim came from, anyways. Starting to get some pretty bad war exhaustion here. But we can finally do something about it. Right, so first up, Astrakhan is going to get some shit from us. War reparations, of course. Doesn't look like we can force our religion on them, so we will instead make them cancel with Georgia and give us some money. A lot more money than I thought we could get from them. Cool. And after that we will get rid of our mercenaries whom we do not need anymore and finally peace out with Georgia who will give us all their shit good and give us some money too cool maybe even force the religion on them? nope if only so that war went pretty well we are of course going to core these Right, so, while we wait for those to core... Assuming we can move our men here, we will. Right. Very nice. So it's time to sell provinces to Punjab. Sell province. Of course, we somehow lose 
prestige by doing this. I have no idea why. Seems a bit silly to me. I don't want to core this shit, so I'm just giving them a free item. So why is that a problem? I have no idea. But we're going to fabricate yet more claims on the Ottomans, who are no longer at war, but have probably fucked up Morocco enough to where they're not coming back. Of course, we can still continue to sell provinces in September. Which we will. Sell yet another province. Which, like I said before, somehow gets rid of our prestige. I have no idea how. Right, so, we're going to wait again. This time, let's see about declaring war on Uzbek as soon as that's over 1590. In the time being, we need to work on our manpower. And... Really just integrate anything. Pro we'll probably end up integrating... Uh, well, not Armenia next. I really have no idea. It's going to be a mixed bag. So let's see if we can't fabricate more on them. We can't. Just to do something, we'll fabricate a claim on Oman. Just in case if we actually cannot vassalize them. Still waiting on our military tech. And we're also going to increase our military capacity. Army, local manpower, we could definitely use that. It's good. And we've increased our cannon. We're going to go with the small cast iron cannon for shock, which is good. And we will, of course, feed Punjab another province very, very soon. Right. They will receive one more province. Which may or may not make them poor with this castle. So we're going to get rid of the castle for them. And sell them this fort. The AI really doesn't seem what to do know, know what to do with forts, so I usually get rid of them before I give them to them. And we're going to once again check the power relations of our vassals. It seems like only Armenia wants to break free, which we need to maintain. Now that we have a land bridge up here, Circassia is a vassal of Crimea, of course, but we might be able to start building up a power base in the Caucasus, which would be incredibly, incredibly helpful. Qatar still has unrest here. Nothing new. But we probably could just go ahead and integrate Punjab. Of course, they do have two more cores here, but... Is it really worth it at this point? I don't really know. Because we're about to get some more um, vassals. And we really don't want to have too many vassals. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll make another vassal in the region. Maybe Gujarat, who has plenty of cores on these provinces. We will find out. They're at war with Hungary, which is really, really good news. Hungary, Serbia, Bavaria, Mantua, Austria. If this ends up good, I'm going to keep an eye on, my, on the Ottomans, and we will make a move. Uh, because this might be really, really good. Of course, Poland is not in a conflict, but they can be. We can, we can drag them into one. So, we're going to fabricate a claim on more Ottoman territory. This time on... Ezernum. I'd like to have a, have a province on every single one of their, or a claim on every single one of their provinces, but I know that that's not realistic, so we're not going to worry about that. Another mission, let's do incorporate 
Punjab. We'll get diplomatic reputation. That's pretty good. Or protect against the Ottomans, which is also pretty good. We'll do both. Of course, the Ottomans have quite a big army, and they're marching with Tunis as well in this fight against Hungary. We will certainly backstab them as soon as we can. Whenever that opportunity presents itself, we will act. So, we need more cannon, I believe, on this unit here. Ask and you shall receive. Uzbek has declared war upon Muscovy. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Of course, Uzbek is going to get rid of Muscovy as a colonial power. So more than likely, an Iberian power like Spain or Portugal will colonize Siberia. I mean, even we could at this point, once we annex Kazakh. I don't really see much of a point to. But a Persia-Russia might be pretty interesting, I don't know. So we're going to fabricate yet another claim on the Ottomans, who are actually losing this conflict, which is really, really good. What's not good is it seems Poland might be busy in a war. They are against... They're, they're on the same side as the Ottomans. That's really strange. Okay. Well, we'll wait for them. Not a problem. So we have 220 uh, armies up here with minimum unrest, which is good. And I believe war exhaustion has gone down to a reasonable level. It's zero. Fantastic. We will be doing more in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And part 8 will be very, very uh, soon in the making. It'll be out very soon, I should say. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys. And see you in the next episode.